gentlemen. Every time someone steps up and says who they are, the world becomes a better, more interesting place. You can start the meeting now. The meeting is over. You're late. You missed roll call and the tutorial on using the new copier. Six years, and no matter how hard I try, I still can't get you to understand the importance of being punctual. Maybe you should just give up and accept me for who I am? No, I will break you right now. Ow. While you were out being tardy, I was hard at work devising a special punishment. I've crafted an intricate, personal high five with everyone in this office except you. What? But you hate high fives. Yes, every minute of it was hell, but it'll be worse for you. Squad, dismissed. <laughs> Goodbye, Diaz. Salute into a fanny waggle. Goodbye, Boyle. Oh, snake charmer. Goodbye, Jefferts. That's the butt bump. Goodbye, Santiago. Double fist bump, reverse explosion into a Pete Townsend strum. All right, that was terrible, but it's over now, and I made it through. Goodbye, Leonard from Xerox. What? No, no. The copy guy? OK, Amy, I know you're in a lot of pain, but we don't have any meds here. You just got to try not to focus on it. Can you distract her? I got this. Hey, Amy, you come out with any new binders recently? I don't want to talk about binders, Rosa. All right, that was my big gun. She's just going to feel this. Not necessarily. I was just checking to see if there's anything we can do to help. And I hate to say it, but I think there is. Oh, you think he's going to get me drugs from evidence? Uh, no. Something way weirder is happening. Hit it, Jeffords. What does that human blister want now? Does she intend to demote me even further? Or perhaps she'll transfer me to the swamps of New Jersey so I can patrol the sinkhole where she was spawned. Or it's possible the announcement has nothing to do with you. Oh, good thing you brought her. You're right. Maybe Madeline wants to inform us all that she's a chooksin. A what? A chooksin. A Korean toilet ghost. Lives in an outhouse, wraps her hair around your throat, and chokes you to death while you move your bowels? You know what? I will give you $6,000 if the announcement is she's a chooksin. OK, everyone. I have some news. The Madeline Wunch is a Korean toilet ghost? Boring. We already knew that. Madeline Wunch is dead. Say what now? Yes, you should be very proud of yourself. I know things aren't exactly where you want to be right now, but, uh, I promise you, they will approve. Thank you, Captain. Every time someone steps up and says who they are, the world becomes a better, more interesting place. So, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to answer an age-old question. Right. What's Amy's deal? Is she single? No, we're dating. Come on. The question is, who here does the best impression of Captain Raymond Holt? You will be judged on voice, body language, and overall lack of flair. Everyone will perform the same scenario. Captain Holt eating a marshmallow for the very first time. Let the Holt off begin. What is this glutinous monstrosity before me? The sugar in this is quite sweet. Ooh. <laughs> That's your Holt impression? I can hear him doing that. Looks like a sticky pillow. I don't care for it. Classical music. <laughs> What's going on here? What are you doing? Captain, hey, nothing. Just eating some marshmallows. Care for one? Marshmallow. <laughs> I knew it! Is uh, everything okay, Santiago? No, I lost my ring. Did you see where it went? Actually, it's behind one of these three doors. Why don't you pick one? Are you trying to Monty Hall me? It's unbelievable. I don't need Monty Hall ruining my place of work, but Monty Hall has already ruined my home life. Come on, sir. The math thing isn't the problem. Night shift's keeping you and Kevin apart. You two just need a bone. <laughs> what did you say? Don't say it again. I said you two need a bone. How dare you, Detective Diaz? I am your superior officer! Bone! What happens in my bedroom, Detective, is none of your business. Bone! Don't ever speak to me like that again. What's with the cast? I sprained my wrist. Oh, no, what happened? Don't worry about it. I'm fine. Yeah, geez, Amy, back off. Leave the guy alone. All right, huddle up. Everybody, bring it in, bring it in. So he wouldn't say what happened, which can only mean one thing. He's in a fight club. No, he did it doing something he's embarrassed by, like smiling. Only question is, how do you hurt your arm smiling? Could be a sports injury. I sprained my wrist in college playing field hockey. Men's field hockey? Yeah. 
it's much more violent than the women's game. We're not allowed to wear anything that protects our breasts. Attention, everyone. I can hear you speculating about the nature and origin of my injury from my office. I tripped over an uneven sidewalk. I did not think it was relevant to your jobs, the jobs which you should all be doing right now. Get to work. Do you want to know how I actually hurt my wrist? Yes. I was hula hooping. Kevin and I attend a class for fitness and for fun. Oh, my God. I've mastered all the moves. The pizza toss, the tornado, the scorpion, the oopsie doodle. Why are you telling me this? Because no one will ever believe you. No, no. You sick son of a bitch. There's no sign of Brawl out here. Did you hear anything on the wire? No, it never came back on. Do you think he's OK? Shh. What? Do you hear? Yes, I do. That's the jingle of Cheddar's collar. And that's his bark! Oh, it's our fluffy boy! Good dog. Oh. Good dog. Oh, Mr. Cheddar, how I've missed you. We both have. OK. Suit yourself. Hope you like kids' birthdays. Hey, everyone. Someone just volunteered to be DJ B-Day. Here at the Fun Zone, we live by one rule. When it's your birthday, you are always cool. Parents and kids are all the same. Watch as I do a dance to your name. Derek. Derek. Again. So again, your alibi is a mysterious stranger handed you the gun, made you put your prints on it, robbed the store, and then hid the gun in your underpants. Well, yeah, if you say it like that, it don't sound believable. Oh, hey, Captain, did you get my report on the Finley murder? Oh, uh, yeah, I looked it over. Nice work. Good. Thanks, Dad. Why is everyone staring at me? You just called Captain Holt Dad. You said, thanks, Dad. What? No, I didn't. I said, thanks, man. Do you see me as a father figure, Peralta? No. If anything, I see you as a bother figure, because you're always bothering me. Hey, show your father some respect. I didn't call him dad. No, 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 Jacob. I take it as a compliment. It's not a big deal. I called Vivian mom once, and she's my fiance. Guys, jump on that. Boyle has psychosexual issues. Old news, but you calling Holt daddy. Hey, daddy is not on the table here. But you did call him dad, dude. You shut up. You've done nothing but lie since you got here. All right, all right, I was lying about the holdup. But the dad thing? That happened. Aha! He admitted that his alibi was a lie. It was a trap, all part of my crazy, devious plan. I believe you. Thank you. Son, you want to talk about it later over a game of catch? I'd like that. Damn, sir, you took that Charbonnet to the house. How you feeling? Let me take stock. My equilibrium is askew, my vision is partially impaired, and I'm clearly slurring my words. To put a fine point on it, your boy's turned. Well, 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 there's only a minute left, and you are six bucks down. I don't think you guys are gonna make it. Hang another sharp. This one's hot. It was sitting on the radiator. He's never gonna make it. Yes, he will. Just don't breathe. Let the liquid into your lungs. Five. Four, three, two. Closing time, cops win! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> All right, fine. The bar's yours. But we're keeping this. Come on. Before we all go home and pass out, I want to say how sorry I am that I deserted you earlier. I want you to know that I care about you all so very much. Each and every one of you, Boyle, Santiago, Diaz, Hitchcock, Skull. Peralta, are you eating an Italian sub for breakfast? I am, but Amy said I should eat more veggies, so I got extra pepperoni. Smart. Uh -oh. Excuse me. You need to watch yourself. I'm sorry, cop. <laughs> all right, let's everybody just stay calm here. Oh, what? Are you going to arrest me for dancing? You call that dancing? Oh. This is dancing. What is happening? I'm defusing the situation. <laughs> dancing happened. Let's capture an image of a lifetime. Oh, why is my phone always dead? I paid $13 for it. Don't worry, I got it. Okay. 
Oh, oh, my hands are covered in butter from making butter. I'm on it. Must record, must record. Camera on. All right, here we go. Dancing over. Situation diffused. No! Jackpot. Let's do this. And how am I supposed to get all the way up there? Gracefully. Boost my bottom! I'm boosting! Boost my bottom! I'm boosting! Boosting! Ah, all right. Stick shift. I can't drive stick shift. You're going to have to drive. How? My leg doesn't work. Sir, I am a dancer. I will be your legs. Watch in. OK. Watch out. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Guys, I have a great idea for a prank. Before Holt comes in, I'm gonna put ink on the podium where he puts his hands. I don't think you'll fall for that. I did. How? I haven't even opened this yet. I guess it's unrelated. Captain Holt hates pranks. This is gonna backfire, man. Ugh, fine, I'll tone it down. I'll move his podium a foot to the left. What? He'll be so angry. Okay, five inches. Five? Three? Three. One? One? All right, I'll move it a half inch. Fine, it's your funeral. Oh, my God. Worst prank ever. So stupid, Holt's not even gonna notice. Good morning. You guys, the, the podium, it's... <laughs> You're crazy! How did you pull this off? On my first day here, I asked Jeffers to tell me about everyone. Told me you were a great detective, but the one thing you couldn't figure out was how to grow up. Well, I think you finally figured it out. Well, thank you, sir. I couldn't have done it without you. Over the years, you've sometimes referred to me as uh, something of a father figure. Did I? I didn't realize that. But I want you to know, if I had had a son, and uh, he had turned out like you, I would be very proud of him. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get this emotional. <laughs> it's not bad for an old robot, huh? Yeep, warp, seep. <laughs> Sir, did you just make a joke? I believe I did. Yes. I guess in the end, we rubbed off on each other quite a bit. Tyler, of your sex movie. Did I do that right? It was perfect. <laughs>